formula has been adopted which will help you in the rapid identification of aircraft based on the following salient points of the aircraft silhouette, wings, engine, fuselage, and tail, which are easily seen from a distance. This formula is known as the weft system, W for wings, E for engine, F for fuselage, T for tail. Using the weft system to guide us, we shall study the distinguishing features of the North American P-51 fighter. The North American P-51 fighter has a single cantilever tapered wing, which is set at the bottom of the fuselage. Therefore, it is classified as a low wing monoplane. Notice that the dihedral or upward slope starts at the center of the fuselage and extends to the wing tip. Now, from underneath, we see that both the leading edge and the trailing edge are tapered toward the tip of the wing. The tip of the wing is practically square with the leading edge rounded. Notice that the wings are located almost midway between the nose and the tail of the plane. Also note, there are two guns extending from the leading edge of each wing about one-third the distance from the fuselage to the wing tip. The landing gear extends from the bottom of the wings just inboard the gun. The main wheels fold up into the wing toward the center. And covering doors close automatically to maintain a smooth streamlined surface. The tail wheel retracts simultaneously and is also covered by automatic closing doors. The North American P-51 fighter has a single inline liquid cooled engine. Notice the smooth streamlined cowling and the bullet shaped nose. Exhaust stacks protruding from the cowling can be seen from close views. Also note the air scoop at the top of the cowling, extending almost to the propeller. The nose of the fuselage, which contains the engine, extends well beyond the wing. The cockpit is directly above the wing and has a curved window for vision to the rear. The fuselage is streamlined from the top of the cockpit to the tail. The fuselage is narrow as viewed from the back, the top, and the bottom. 
A rather large air scoop is located at the bottom of the fuselage, extending forward beneath the wings. The fuselage behind the scoop tapers sharply to the tail. The radio mast is located above and behind the cockpit, and the antenna extends to the fin. Another significant clue to the identity of the North American P-51 fighter is the tail. The vertical surface, or fin, has a tapered leading edge and a slightly less tapered trailing edge. The top of the fin is square, with the leading edge slightly rounded. The trailing edge of the rudder curves into the bottom of the fuselage. Notice that the horizontal control surface is straight. There is no dihedral or upward slope. As you can see, the leading and trailing edges of the horizontal surface are tapered. The tips are square and slightly rounded at the front. Now we shall review the distinguishing silhouette features of the North American P-51 fighter. It is a low-wing monoplane. The dihedral, or upward slope, starts at the fuselage and extends to the wing tips. The North American P-51 fighter is powered with a single liquid-cooled engine. It has a smooth, streamlined cowling and a bullet-shaped nose. The smooth contours of the fuselage are broken on top by an air scoop directly behind the propeller. A more obvious clue in identifying the fuselage is the air scoop underneath and directly below the cockpit. The cockpit is directly above the wing. The fuselage is streamlined to the tip of the tail. Remember, the vertical fin tapers to a flat top, which is slightly curved at the leading edge. Also, Remember the horizontal control surface is straight. There is no dihedral or upward slope. The horizontal tail surfaces are located slightly forward from the rear end of the fuselage. The leading and trailing edges of the horizontal surface are tapered. The fuselage is narrow. The wings are located about the center of the plane and are practically the same length as the fuselage. The wings have both the leading and trailing edges tapered. Be sure to remember the North American P-51 fighter with the square wing and tail tips. Thus we have completed the identification of the North American P-51 fighter according to the WEFT system.